Welcome back to the channel guys, um, this is just a, another quick video on how to delete a, a user that was actually created um, by the Gigabit Control Centre app. Um, now I've totally missed this obviously with changing jobs, building the PC, trying to get everything up and running. Um, not missed it but completely not deleted it from obviously the PC. So I can show you obviously <clears throat> two ways to delete this. Um, it's, it's very, very easy. Um, the first way is obviously down to your search bar and type in uh, control panel. Click on control panel. Um, under user accounts and then change account type, you'll see the two options that we have. Well, obviously we've got uh, myself as the admin uh, and then obviously we've got the user account that was created under the Gigabit um, Control Center um, app being installed on the PC for different features which I do not like. I do not like um, apps installing stuff <coughs> that you know is not being requested by myself. Um, it's my PC Obviously, there's only myself using it, so there should only be one user. It's also another way to find out if someone is obviously on your PC or not. Um, so we will get rid of this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but that's the first way. Um, the second way to get rid of it is to click on your um, Windows button there and go up to Settings. Let's pull that back over. I don't know my screen. And under accounts on the left here, click on that. Um, you scroll down to other users and you click on that. And then you can see the, the username there. Um, drop down menu uh, and you can click remove on account and data. And that's what the one we'll be using today, not the other one, we'll be using this one. So it's just a case of click and remove. Um, delete account and data. Um, do you want to? It's basically, you know, asking you, if you are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, I am sure. So you want to delete account and data. Um, Windows will do its stuff. Um, and that's it done. Um, close that down. Close that. Um, we can literally check control panel again. Under user accounts, and if you look, there's only myself on that one. Um, so that's it done. We can close that one down, click on settings again. Let's pull that over. And under accounts, scroll down to other users, uh, and there is nothing there. So there's now only myself on this PC as the one user and um, that's it guys literally a, a short quick easy tutorial on how to get rid of the gcc file drop user and um, this also works for other users that you do not want on your pc and um, it's exactly the same method um, any questions just drop them on the, the comments below and i'll, I'll get back to you um, but that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video there is more to come again there'll be little bits of raw data uploaded and then obviously eventually you will start to see differences in raw videos being uploaded and um, videos that have obviously edited in Premiere. So that's it guys, have a good day, have a good one, cheers now, bye.